Hello everybody and welcome to a new Music Tip Tuesday. It's been a couple weeks since I did a Music Tip video. Um, I did have a couple things going on and I wanted to share a few things um, in other ways. So we are back now for our next Music Tip Tuesday. Uh, this one is going to be more of a vocal tip again. I'm doing a lot more vocal tips um, than I am other things because that seems to be where people are wanting music tips right now. So again, if you want any music tips on anything in particular, you have any questions, you can always feel free to put that in the comment section or to go ahead and, uh, you know, send me something <laughs> message wise. Um, right, so let's begin. So today I want to talk about control drills. Now when I say control um, and I'm talking to my students, what I'm specifically talking about is I want my students to be able to hit the note they intend to hit when they intend to hit it. Um, control may also be used um, in terms of controlling dynamics, making sure you're getting um, loud or quiet, um, but that's not something that I typically refer to when I'm doing control drills. That's something I'd refer to when I'm specifically doing dynamic drills. So again, these drills are specifically designed to help you hit the note that you intend to hit every time you intend to hit it. <laughs> so let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to sing a scale on thirds. Now thirds, in case you don't know, basically we're going to skip over a note and go to the note above it. Uh, we're going to continue that series, so we're going to skip over a note, then go back and skip over a note and go back, skip over a note, go back, until we get to the top of the scale, and then we're going to head down the scale. So it sounds like this. La 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 so the purpose of this is to make sure that you get used to hitting all of the notes in the scale without necessarily going up by steps so we're training our ear to hear thirds thirds tend to be one of the places that most singers get off because they either sing them too far or too high la 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 so that sounds crazy it's too high or they sing them too low la la La, la. Now, yes, I am on purpose making it sound much worse than what I typically hear, simply because uh, I want you to be able to hear what I'm talking about, the differences. Um, let's hear that third drill one more time and then have you try it out. So it goes. La, 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 la. Try it with me. La 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 How did you do? I hope it went well for you. Another thing we can do to go ahead and practice our control of our voice, making sure that we hit all of those notes, is to sing um, a grouping of what's called a minor second. So they're the really small intervals. Um, they're really hard to hear. And again, these minor seconds tend to be one of those places where a lot of singers really get off track. In fact, I've had singers tell me that minor seconds have caused them to not only get off track um, with the note that they're supposed to be singing, but they lose the melody altogether. So minor seconds sound like this. We're gonna do five. La 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 la. Let's hear that again. La 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 la. Are you ready to try? Here we go. La 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 la. One of the things that'll help you with this drill is if you go slow enough that you can hear in your mind, so hear before you sing, uh, what that note is gonna sound like. If you speed through it, you're very likely to either skip a note or to repeat a note. The last control drill that I work with uh, most of my students uh, with is basically we're gonna go uh, do a whole scale. We're gonna start with that do, that bottom note, the la, and we're going to hit, sit, hit each note going up and then going back to do. I know that doesn't make any sense, but I promise it will when you hear it. So what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do it on la. We're just singing la 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 la. Okay, let's try that. La 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 la. One more time. La 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 la. Now, 
Depending on the time of the day, this drill might be harder or easier. Right now, it's morning where I am. So you heard on that seventh, it wasn't as clean the third time I did it as the first two times. Um, in the morning, it's actually really hard to do bigger jumps <laughs> um, because, you know, your voice is somewhat tight. Um, it's not really ready to go. Uh, uh, fun fact, that's why most of the times when you go to concerts and things like that, they tend to be either in the afternoon or at night because the voice has had plenty of time to kind of wake up um, and to be used so it's nice and warm all right um, we can go the other direction with that drill but that's something that I like to reserve for my students um, so again if you end up taking a lesson with me you'll learn the opposite direction as well but these are three really good drills to get you started on your vocal control again vocal control meaning that you're able to hit